This is awkward. It's very awkward. Look at that. Woo, buddy. What's going on everybody? We're back for another video. Today we got our Mark V GTI project car and we're gonna be putting an exhaust on it. Finally, finally, because it still has the entire stock exhaust and this thing is way too quiet for us. If you've been following the channel, you know we like our cars loud, so that's exactly what we're gonna do today. We have an ECS catback going on this thing and it's gonna literally change the entire car. So we can't freaking wait. Without further ado, we're gonna give you one last cold start with the stock exhaust and let's get into it. Alright guys, we made it over to our shop and we got all our parts laid out here. I hope it will clear. Oh Pretty yeah, low. we are real low. The freaking, our jacks are being utilized by the Mustang, <laughs> the stands. So we're gonna try and use these. I think we'll clear. Yeah, we should be okay. If you wanna just uh, watch it as I back up, make sure these things don't kick out. Yeah, I'll let you know. Key in there? Uh, nope, key's over here. Oh, that would be helpful. Yep. Is that where we're going today? Right, let's hope this thing doesn't fall off or scrape. Wind up. Let's get her up there. You're good. Oh, she died. <laughs> First one of the day for Austin. <laughs> You're good. You're good. You're good. Keep coming. Keep coming. Oh. Okay. We're going to slide. slide out. Yeah, hold on. All right. With a little... You know, determination, we got it. <laughs> so we're on the ramps. We'll get this unboxed in a second. That should be enough clearance. Yeah, let's take a look. Yeah. Yeah. We're used to working with our chins on the bottom of the car, so. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> Nothing new here. Welcome to New Jersey. It's raining when it's, you know, 0% chance. <laughs> Literally. It's got to be the one cloud. I think we'll have enough clearance for that. Now let's kind of open up this bad boy and show you what we bought. So before we get into the unbox, I just want to, once again, per usual, whenever we're working on this GTI NS3, we always want to shout out ECS Tuning. They hook us up. Dave over there, you're the man. Thank you very much. But um, for the exhaust system we went with for the GTI, we went with the non-valve catback, and then we have the chrome exhaust tips. There is another option. You could choose the valved edition, and then you could choose different color exhaust tips. It's all personal preference. Of course, when you get into the valved edition, it's gonna be a little more costly, but then you could have that nice quiet tone when you're driving. As I have on the S3, it's very nice when you're daily driving it to have that. But um, with this, since it's our project car, we'd like to have it loud. But yeah, let's just completely bypass those valves. This car doesn't come stock with them. No need to wire up and get any valves in there. I like it just the way it is. Um, but yeah, let's just go ahead and open this bad boy up. This right here is box number one. And... Love a good old unboxing. I know. It's like Christmas all over. You know? Bam. There she blows. As a unit, got our clamps. Oh, let's pull this bad boy out. And this is just, like I said, box number one. We got the tips and then we also got the other piece of the puzzle there. 
I'll get everything out before I start taking the bubble wrap off. For those of you guys who've been watching us for a while, you've probably seen our old Mark V that we had on the channel, and we had the AWE tuning cap back. So we'll see what this, you know, the comparison is compared to this, compared to the AWE, and then of course all the other ones on the market. Man, they package it nice and good. Yeah, they don't around here. Sure. Quality part, quality control. And this should be going towards the tips. Oh yeah. So it'll be like that, we got a nice clamp, and then we'll attach the uh, tips on that side. Well, this will go straight to your factory downpipe or custom downpipe, depending on which, which setup you have. And last but not least, this box is a little open already because I got a little excited the other day and wanted to see what it's all about. But like I said, we want the, the chrome tips. These are swivel. And what I like about these, I'll get into that in a little bit, but bam, Ooh. minus my fingerprints, that thing is a unit. Nice little ECS tuning, got the swivel. And that's not as common on the market. I've ever had the AWE setup. And it was just a Y pipe and it had clamped on exhaust tips. And I remember that was a nightmare. So the fact that these have the swivel tip and the uh, V band, it'll just make it a lot more secure, no leaking. Enough of me rambling. We got the other tip in here as well because there's a dual tip exit. We'll open that later. But now let's get to the, to the goodies and take out this bubble wrap and see what we're working with. All right, guys, I just unraveled this beast and I just want to take a second to admire these gorgeous gorgeous dimes just stacked stacks on stacks okay right there too yep it's a nice unit it's stainless up. steel yeah over beautiful. here got that beautiful color three inch dimes. diameter yep not the 2.5 it's going to be straight through three inch excited it's going to sound good so yeah we'll finish unraveling all this stuff and we'll get into it so we just went ahead maybe like five minutes ago just put some wd-40 on all the exhaust hangers just get everything lubricated so we could slide the old ones out of the hangers with ease so uh, now it's just pretty much gonna remove the hangers and get this thing dropped I'll slide under there Ooh. all right guys so we pretty much got all the hangers off wes is just going to take care of the side hanger right there because we're not going to be utilizing that anymore um there's no no hook for it per se on the new exhaust because this muffler goes all the way to the passenger side we're going to be bypassing that so he's taking the whole assembly off but the rest is hanging and then the last piece of the puzzle down here hopefully you can see it uh, see that band clamp in the middle right there that usually gets rusted to shit and you will not be able to reuse that so definitely if you're going to be doing an exhaust if you have a downpipe already you might have already replaced that but if you're doing a cat back definitely buy one we actually have one so we're going to be replacing that because those bolts actually get rusted and nine times out of ten they snap and you won't be able to reuse that clamp but yeah that's the last piece of the puzzle after wes gets those that last hanger off that's the only thing going to be, and it looks like he just got it off. Yep. So that's the last piece of the puzzle. We'll get that off. We might have to sawzall it. Like I said, those things are usually rusted to crap, so we'll have to replace that and get that off the hard way. All right, so we're going to break these two loose. They're probably going to snap. I don't know if it's spinning or twisting the nut or the bolt. Oh, never mind. Snap right off. And that's expected with these because they're so rotted out. I gotta get the nut out of that. You snapped her clean off, bud. Yeah, she. That was like three turns. And it was clunk. This one's act, ow, actually rotating. So that one's not gonna snap. And we did soak these for a while. I mean, you could use heat and really try and save it, but especially when you're coming to exhaust clamps, you don't want no leaks. You might as well just replace it. Um, you could get universal like aftermarket ones. We went with um, Volkswagen, genuine Volkswagen ones. That should do it right there. Spin that thing free. And we'll be able to remove the whole exhaust system out the back, which is currently pretty heavy. So, <laughs> so Wes, if you want to get it in the back. <laughs> I don't want to get it in the back, but yeah, I'll help no, you. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's surprisingly pretty heavy. All right. All right, hold on. You're gonna have to go with me at the same time. Yeah. Uh, my nuts. <coughs> Try and keep it off your donuts. It's right. This is awkward. It's very awkward, but I think here I got it. We're good. Okay. 
I was getting a little claustrophobic down there. <laughs> Just had a little panic attack. <laughs> but yeah, we got the old one out. Look at this freaking behemoth like, yep. of a muffler. Perfect one. Like, we're completely bypassing that. It's gonna sound so much less restricted and so just loud. So I'm excited for that. Obviously, we got a thinner style on the ECS one, and then no muffler in the back. So this is gonna be sick. This is gonna be loud. Yep. I'm excited for this. But here, just so you have a better visual, this is what I was talking about. These connections rust. It's notorious for them. So see, so you can see that bolt just snapped clean off. So definitely replace it. We got our placement over here. I'll link this down below. Obviously along with all the exhaust, everything will be linked down below, but definitely save yourself the trouble, time, and get a, you know, spend an extra little couple bucks and get the clamp itself. But yeah, it's the old, time for the new. That's good. Actually, should we start it up and see what it sounds like? Absolutely. Why not? Very tamed with the, the cat. That wasn't as loud as I anticipated. We obviously have the stock cat and everything there. Still louder, um, but I didn't want to get it too, I didn't want to go crazy with it because we're going to be working down there. I didn't want to get too, too hot. And it's also not very cold. Um, it's been warmed up for a little while. So it is what it is. I'll just throw this exhaust system on and see how it sounds. So I didn't realize, actually, ECS gave us the uh, three inch to the 2.5 adapter. So that whole spiel about my little band clamp, you necessarily don't have to use because they're nice enough to give this adapter. Some companies don't do that. I was a full one, didn't see it hidden in there. But um, this will pretty much go in there. But I'll put the clamp on it, so it'll hold it in place there. And then this will connect to the down pipe with the 2.5 inch clamp. Now, in theory, I could use this right over that so I don't have any leaks, but I want to put ECS's you know, hardware on. I want to make it a whole complete kit, so we're going to use the ECS clamps that they provide it. But this adapter is good, especially if you have an aftermarket downpipe, which is a you know three inch or whatever. This just kind of gives you that flexibility to whatever setup you have. But um, yeah, now let's just kind of throw this thing in. We'll start with this half first. We'll get this on like that, and uh, we'll work our way back. So as you just saw from that time lapse, I did the front portion, Wes just did the back. Everything's kind of loose, still kind of um, adjustable so we could move things accordingly. We just put the tips on without the clamps or anything, but I think this is the look we're gonna go for. We're gonna kind of follow the trim and like this, the uh, factory ones where it's kind of staggered. The inner one kind of comes out a little further, but we gotta just follow the trim enough where you see the ECS. We could always adjust it a little bit more and whatnot, but I think that's gonna look good. I mean, you don't want it too far out. Of course, you could bring it further out if you want, but or you could even make them the flush. But I think the staggered look. What do you think? It, it just kind of looks best. Yeah, no, I agree. Goes with the bumper. It does. The curvature, so I think that's the way it will go. Yep. Um, then we'll kind of just put that on, and then we'll just kind of adjust everything a little further, and then should be good to go. So let's just do that, and we'll see you guys in a minute. 
All right, guys, we finally buttoned this exhaust up. We got everything fine-tuned. The tips are just enough out to see that ECS logo, and the fitment is just dialed in, so let's show you. Look at that. Woo, buddy. Yes, sir. It, it pops in this rear end. It really does. If we restore this back to black or even color match it, it'll just kind of focus in on this so you don't see all that fade in this, exactly. but that thing just looks perfect, man. Yep. I'm so glad we decided to go with the chrome tips rather than like the black or you yeah. know, other colors. No, I agree, the chrome really makes it pop. So, overall, really? great product, great fitment, no issues. Yeah, everything buttoned up with ease. The clamps are solid. I'm so glad that we didn't get any cheap clamps because I know a lot of companies that have exhausts, you know, some exhausts have a lot of cheap clamps, but everything's stainless steel. It's gonna hold up in our New Jersey weather and everything. But I guess this is what you guys are waiting for, right? You wanna, should we start it up? Yeah, absolutely. Start it up do the honors and then we're gonna keep it on the in the air because it's always good to check for leaks after you start it up but let's see how it sounds yep long time coming yeah. this thing was way too quiet way too quiet ready yep give it a nice tone. I, I'm excited to see what it's like on throttle. Yeah. These cars are pretty quiet from factory, especially with the, you know, the cats. But once we do a catless or a downpipe, either catless or high flow, um, it's really going to wake this thing up. But I think this is going to give us the perfect note for having fun with it. Yeah, no, it already sounds significantly uh, yeah. better than idle. So we'll let this warm up a little bit and then take it for a spin. Yeah. All right, guys, we're on the road doing our first test rip with the ECS tuning catback. We got Austin driving over here. Yes, sir. Thing sounds nice. Yeah. It's it might be hard to hear. It's such a windy day. Yeah. Well, we need the windows open to really hear it, but now this thing sounds good. It sounds really good. I think this car really shines with all the turbo noises. Oh yeah. Now it's just yeah. a lot more fun to drive with a little more noise. I think it's very nice. Yeah, you can actually hear it now. Yeah, exactly. These cars are pretty well dampened too, so you don't hear as much. Also got the GoPro out back, uh, yeah. hooked up suction cups, so I'll insert some sounds obviously throughout here. Hopefully that's picking it up nice, no wind, you know, it's tucked behind the bumper, so. I really wish we could open the windows and not have a lot of wind noise, but yeah. it's just extremely windy. We'll hit a back road over here, get some flybys, and really let her eat. Right, guys so that's going to wrap up today's video we hope you enjoyed thanks again dave at ecs you're providing us with some quality products especially for this car and of course the audi s3 um, this thing really changed the whole dynamic of this car i really hope the wind didn't really interfere with the sound because we we do have the microphone but i don't know if you'll really be able to experience how great this thing sounds uh, hopefully the gopro clips kind of displayed that for you guys but um, yeah, this thing's perfect. It sounds great. I can't wait to get, you know, the downpipe, catless. It'll just really wake up this car even more and just make it that much louder. But um, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. Please give it a thumbs up. Comments if you have any questions. 
Once again, everything is linked down below, so if you want to purchase it for yourself, highly, highly recommend it. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.